Hello, it's Jake Dodd here, aka Creative Tech Gamer. Um, I just wanted to show you guys how to source a script and then add it to a shelf as it's a bit of a pain to source a script every time. So I'm going to be using my bridge builder here. I'm just going to go copy and take it into documents, Maya, the version number, you might be using a different version, scripts. Just going to paste it over these because there's no changes that seem to matter, I don't think. Okay, so we've got that version in there. Just close that down. I want to run Maya now. Wait for it to load. Shouldn't take too long. Computer's quite fast. Boom. Okay. And for the example on this, I've deleted my custom shelf. I'll come to that in a minute. Okay, so the way that you want to do this is usually uh, coming down here to the mail command open that box there and type in source space bridge builder it's bridge builder for me because that's a script that I've got it's whatever the file name is for your uh, particular script so yeah, that's that the dot mel isn't important you want to type a semicolon at the end there you see there as well it's a lowercase and on the file name it's an uppercase. It doesn't matter here, but if you're using it inside a script like this, it needs to it needs to be the correct field. If I change something in here to an uppercase, it just wouldn't work. Okay. So type that in there. Uh, if I spell source right now. Spelling does matter of course. You know, even if upper and lowercase don't. Okay, just hit enter. There we go, source is a script. And that means that Maya's got it in its memory and you can open it. And that Obviously it's a bit of a pain though to source the script and open it every time using that method. So what we're going to do is go up here and click this arrow and go, if you haven't already got the custom one, which you should have unless you've deleted it like me, you want to go either new shelf and then you can create your own shelf for certain things like uh, if you have a shelf for procedurally model modeling things like this bridge builder script uh, new shelf I'm just going to rename my custom okay enter see it brings up this blank shelf here so you want to go back to that arrow and go shelf editor see it's got nothing in there which is what we want um, you can do it on an existing one too but I tend to put them all in custom because they're not my core files, so I'm going to put them in custom. Okay, you want to click new item, and it creates the new item spot on the shelf. Just move this over here so you can see, puts it there. Okay, you want to rename it to something that makes sense, you know, don't call it something that's like a bridge builder, car maker, or something daft. Um, so rename, call it, Bridge Builder. Okay, sorry if typing's a bit slow. I'm using a uh, Disney Interactive Studios mic. Just one of those ones that you get with like uh, Disney Sing It or Guitar Hero or Rock Band or any other games like that. Okay, so click in there, rename it, or you can hit enter. Um, you can change the icon. You've got the default Maya ones pretty you know pretty standard or you can have a custom one the best size for them is 32 by 32 pixels I believe in a PNG format mine's 400 and I have had problems with it before not scaling correctly so I'm not going to use that one but basically if you wanted to you could use your own custom icon that you've created so I'm just going to use one that's sort of going to be like a bridge maybe Let's just use grid display. Not like a bridge, but you know. Okay. Uh, you can change all these, like have a custom background on it. You've got your preview here. See so when you click it, that happens. Um, on a custom background color, then just maybe put it like that so it stands out from the shelf a bit better. If you want to get crazy with it, you know, you can like make it red or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to leave it off. Defaults are usually best. You can have a tooltip here, so when you hover over it, it's going to say like Bridge Builder. Okay, 
so you see hot pursuit bridge builder icon label uh b build let's call it see uh, see it tried to fit it all in there so but it can't so i tend to just call it like something short like bb yeah see bb is above it then um now to the important stuff you want to click your icon up here go command this is what the command will be executed it's going to print that down it'll just output into this box here it'll say user defined macro so you can either keep that change the text in there something like uh bridge builder has begun or something like that or you can just delete it and type in source space bridge builder semicolon of course this is whatever the name of your file is for your script you know it doesn't have to be bridge builder of course if you name if your scripts like the uh the excellent uh Kludge city that's for building procedural buildings and uh, the like it's very good you can uh type that name there instead that is if you got it in your script directory uh you can have a double click command so when you double click the icon it c performs that command uh basically just you know whatever sort of command you want to perform maybe delete ui window so if you want to double click it to close the window so we've got source there got the icon set up how we want uh save all shelves okay and we're going to give it a test way opens up so much easier way to source your script a lot faster in the long run so you don't have to keep typing it out you know five minutes of work saves you like aching your fingers typing uh letters out every time you want to use a script you can do it for like any script i believe and not just scripts all sorts of commands as well so if you want to like have a easier access button to do something like mesh combine i know it's already in uh like the polygons tab and stuff usually uh somewhere but yeah if you want to like do some random command like detach component or something then you can uh put that into a shelf icon just going to close that then so you see custom and you can just every time okay so in the next video i want to talk about some of the new features that you can see i've done animation length i've improved the actual swing animation so that it's uh you know better the end posts don't sort of like go with it because you know what kind of crazy bridge has the supports just like blowing in the wind um all right but that's for another video okay bye